You see that AI commercial? Oh boy, how far AI has come. Um, but it is still detectable, uh, even from that original version of uh, Pepperoni Hug Spot. I got some criticism on Twitter I want to show you here, and then we'll bring in uh, Cliff Schechter because uh, I want to talk to him about a few of these subjects. Um, this is this is one of my most loyal trolls here. They're constantly in my mentions. And um, Litecoin2000, I'm not sure where they put the coin, straight up their ass probably, but they said, Tony, can you put this one on your toilet too? And I think they're referring to the picture that I showed of Trump on the toilet where they're praying over him. Look, friend, I don't make all the images that I show, you fucking idiot. Okay, I don't make all of them. The internet makes a lot of these things. I just cultivate them for you to see, and I'm so glad you're tuning in, though. I'm really happy that you're hate-watching and tuning in, wherever you're tuning in. And I'm assuming it's on X-Gen because you you seem like a fucking idiot. Um, So I'm really glad that you're on X-Gen watching me now and paying attention because maybe one day through that dense fucking skull of yours, uh, some of these ideas will leak through and you'll be able to use like the two or three brain cells that you have left together or to left. And you can rub those motherfuckers together, you know, create some energy, maybe some heat, maybe even manufacture a thought or two. And then when you do that, you'll come up with the idea that you're a fucking idiot. You're you getting a vigorous worship. spanking because you've been a bad girl. So get on it. That's real audio from fucking Tucker Carlson. Holy shit. I got I to gotta show that to uh, Cliff Schechter, too. So let's, without further ado, let's do that. Let's bring in my friend, a political commentator and host of live streaming over on Cliff's Edge. Cliff Schechter, how are you today, my friend? I do all of that shit and more. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, I liked your uh, your uh, your troll there. Oh, yeah? And, uh, you know, you... Well, no, I mean, when you said that maybe that he put that coin up his ass, um, I was thinking yeah. of that scene from uh, Pulp Fiction where, they, you know, they each had the, the, the watch up their asses for like a number of years. And uh, Mr. Walken gives it to him at the end. He's like, I had this up my ass for four years. Uh, and the guy before me had it up his ass for five. So that you're all, your father. <laughs> right. You, right. And now it's for you. Uh, so here's, I, your, I, here's, I your here's your coin. Here's your coin. Here's your. I've already used. Coin. Yeah, I've already used that in one of my one of my videos because it's too good a clip not to. Um, and it is a good clip. But, it uh, is good. So I, well, I got a couple different stories that I, that I want to talk about mm-hmm. here because uh, I, I want to go to the Elon thing first, but I also want to make sure that we talk about uh, whatever these allegations are. I know that we've discussed them in private, and I'm, I'm assuming that you've may have discussed them on screen because I know you're doing s- several interviews here lately. Um, so I want to get your thoughts on that. And I also want to show you this, Tucker Carlson, before you head out for your live stream. Um, you got to see this. It's fucking weird and hilarious and scary all at the same time. You know how uh, these right wingers operate. But here's what I want to go to first. Um, and, and let's make sure we say other. it because we should say this every time, which is yeah. Tucker Carlson, <clears throat> who under oath, Justin Trudeau said they have evidence is a Russian operative. So it's just just to be clear, so whenever you're listening to Tucker Carlson, mm-hmm. you're listening to somebody that the Prime Minister of Canada said under oath that they have direct evidence. Jordan Peterson, too, that penis. Um, they are both are are uh, are Russian operatives. So you know, something good to know. Of course, they got mm-hmm. they got Putin's Arna Palmer in their mouths. Of course, they do. I and mean, they this got is that. Putin's obvious. hands up their ass, sort right. of. Exactly, touching like the puppet. good spots on Tucker and, and manipulating his mouth. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if they had like the puppet strings installed or it was the the hand up the ass kind of puppet. I wasn't really sure if it was like a I'm puppet guessing. Or, I like, could be wrong. Old style. Okay, <clears throat> well, here, here's the thing, because uh, I want to go to this Elon Musk story first. Um, we actually last week uh, on the show on Thursday, I believe, or on your show. I, I don't remember which one it was, but we were talking. And I lose track yeah. of them. Um, but we were talking about the <laughs> DOJ and Merrick Garland, and it, the the bare minimum should be that they should be at least letting the American people know that this is illegal. Now, they didn't reach that bar. Um, they just sent a letter to Elon Super PAC um, that, hey, what you're doing is probably 100 percent. Yeah, it's, it's definitely illegal. Um, but that was about as far as the, the reporting goes. Now, I believe that it should be a full on PR Lance, uh, onslaught. But my idea here now, and this is what I want you to commentate on. Here's my idea. Stay with me here. The government, the federal government buys ads on Twitter 
okay, inside the America PAC and Elon's threads <laughs> that, hey, this stuff is illegal. <laughs> it is illegal. So, and I think Elon will fall for this because anytime Elon can stuff money in his pocket, especially if it's government money, you know how much he loves government. That's why he's rich. That's he loves government money. He'll stuff that in his pocket. So tell me what you think of that idea. You think that'll work? Uh, I love that. I love somebody <clears throat> already. In, uh, I, sorry, I missed their name already in your comments was, was reminding me I can say dick here because I said penis before. I like to oh. use a variety because I got in yeah, trouble yeah, yeah. on Stephanie Miller's no, no, show you can for say, saying You dick. can say all kinds of words. Oh, yeah. no, all, all the yeah. stuff. All the stuff. Cool. Um, I think uh, that, you know, as I said from the beginning, you know, is this a step? Yes. Is it good? And then I saw, again, I'm not going to say names, but my God. The, the brigade, the one or two people that just will defend anything Merrick Garland. It's like, see, it was only 48 hours. And in that time, over the weekend, you know, because none of us work over the weekend, uh, he took the time to put together the letter that, you know, and, and it's just like, OK, I'm glad he did the bare minimum. Yes, there's a letter out there. And thankfully, the media reported on it. So a lot of people do know because Elon Musk is a famous person and the media is more likely to pay attention whenever it's somebody who will get them clicks. So because Elon's famous and because it's a letter from the DOJ, but they said likely committing a crime or something like that, it's not likely. It's a fucking crime to buy votes. I don't understand. I mean, I'm not a lawyer. I've looked at the the, the statute. It's pretty straightforward. Right. Um, and so that's A. B, as you said, I, I love your idea, by the way. I hadn't thought of that. But there should be a full-on PR. The, the way you start a campaign and you make sure people are paying attention you saw what Kamala Harris did last night, where she held a press conference, or maybe it was yesterday afternoon, whatever it was, and she pointed out that Trump is unhinged and he admires Hitler, that all these things, because she knew that if she pushed the issue by holding a press conference, cameras would be there, it would be reported out widely, and people would see it. That is what you have to do, and that is what my criticism of Merrick Garland, more than anything else, is that when we, we are in a situation where somebody attacked the seat of government January 6th, there should have been weekly updates after Biden was there. No, you, you don't want to compromise cases. You don't want to give us names. You just want to give us confidence that you're on the job. And when it came to Elon Musk here, what, he doesn't give us anything private. You can't do that. You'll ruin your case. But give us what's in that letter because a lot of people are not going to take the time to read it or don't have it. Stand up and say it in words that people can hear and see on TV that show up on Chirons, you know, and, and tell us what you're doing. Tell us why. Educate people and make it clear to others that would do what that fucking scumbag did, that charisma event horizon. I mean, my God, have you ever seen? He makes J.D. Vance look like Denzel Washington when it comes to charisma. <laughs> hey. The, look, uh, John over there won. <laughs> I mean, I like like, if, 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 <laughs> he's such a fucking tool. I mean, it, it, you know, he's working on Neuralink and rockets to space. Can he work on implanting a personality? Maybe if he could discover that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the brain chip comes with uh, with like personality traits. I don't I don't know if it does. Yeah, well, or not. it should for him. He needs to do that. But in any case, you know, that's what I would do. Right. And, and I and I love your idea. I would make sure and just to, you could you know make it look like because oh, he'd be like, they're targeting me. Put ads on Facebook, too, and put ads on some yeah, of the other ones. Yeah. But right in his face on Twitter. Make it clear. I love it. It's a great well, And the, the other thing, too, that I think is important um, mm -hmm. for people who are receiving the money to understand is that if if this is a which we believe it to be because it's kind of obvious. Um, but if it's if, if it ends up being that. Um, it is illegal. He gets indicted. There are charges that are brought. I want the people, and I think the DOJ should make this clear to the Americans that Elon is duping here because he's kind of duping people into participating in this illegal scheme by giving them the money because you cannot receive funds in this country uh, with uh, illegal funds. They can seize them. They will forf you. There will be a forfeiture, which it's not a, a, uh, <laughs> it's not a willing forfeiture. They will come in and they will freeze your bank accounts and they will take your fucking money and they will take your property. That is how federal seizure and forfeiture works. Um, but, I, but it w leads me to the next story that I want to talk about before we go on. Yeah. Speaking <clears throat> of Russian assets, 
Did you catch that Tim Pool is canceling his show after the Russian money uh, just poof went away like I a did. fart in I, the wind? I love how he made uh, like every excuse. He's like, "Well, I've got a family," and I'm like, "Oh, well, that's a good time to stop a supposedly successful podcast when you have a family. You wouldn't want to, let's say, make money so that your family could eat." Uh, I mean, it's like he came up with five different reasons why, and they all amount to. Uh, what I think we already know about a lot of these right-wing influencers, which is without Russia, other foreign countries, places like the Heritage Foundation, Koch Brothers, Peter even the Thiel. legal ones, Peter Thiel, like even the legal ways, they're nothing, right? I mean, I bring this up all the time about Ben Shapiro, that little squeaky-voiced fucking you know dog toy. I mean, that guy has, again, talk about lack of fucking charisma and presence. He's a little tool, but suddenly he was dominating Facebook. Because somebody, we don't know who, spent, I think it was either hundreds of thousands Coke or a million dollars <laughs> on Facebook. Uh, what you say? <laughs> Coke Brothers. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, exactly. I got a little on, bit of a on cough. On Facebook ads. A little bit of cough. <laughs> and, 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 I mean, this is what happens on the right. They, don't, they virtually never get there because they're actually talented enough to get there. <laughs> they me, get there because... Me a cough. because I'm, getting, I'm getting a cough drop to uh, clear up my, <clears throat> my cough here. The Coke brothers, Coke brothers. That's cool. Does it have any good alcohol in it? You can get a little well, drunk on the show. I wish, I wish it did. I wish it did. Um, you should go so, take some cold medicine. You'd be, yeah, you'd be right? even more fun, dude. Yeah. Well, you know, um, there for a while, there for yeah. a week, I was hopped up on a uh, pseudofedrin because I had uh, some sinus issues. So I like hopped myself up right before the show on pseudofedrin and it worked. Pretty good. And it's dangerous because that stuff's enjoyable. You get a nice buzz from it. So folks don't fuck around with it because <laughs> I swear I got to a point where I'm like, Cold medicine? Yeah, yeah. Let's, get it. let's get it. I've got a sniffle. I've got a sniffle. <laughs> In any right. case, mm -hmm. Tim Pool, like, again, he's a dorky little guy with, like, a fucking, who, who sits there with his Kenny hat on all the time. Like, this was not something that I could understand why it attracted people, and now we know. You know, I mean, the, without the Russian money, he's got nothing. So well, I and guess there's a little done. there's a little more deep uh, seated stuff about the, this connection because you were mentioning uh, Justin Trudeau, and uh, that was actually some of it because they're actually funneling this money through RT through Canada. Uh, and the reason why is because RT is not able to operate the way that it is able to operate in Canada, and they also wanted this. Uh, <laughs> This plausible deniability factor because right. Tim Pool, Tim Pool's first response was a little different than Benny Johnson. Benny Johnson's like, it's all fake news. It's not real. It's not real. Tim Pool's like, no, we were duped. Um, the problem is, is that there are people close to Tim Pool and producers that are close to Tim Pool who are now saying they're coming out and telling people, no, he knew it was Russian money. We all knew it was Russian money. We talked about that it was Russian money. I mean, right. But the problem that Tim Pool has now is that he has producers that are probably talking to the FBI. Um, they're probably becoming informants because what they don't want to do is become uh, also indicted co-conspirators because of their actions. So they're wanting to make sure that they're safe by cooperating, which is typically what the government would do in a case like this where they're indicting uh, uh, foreign foreigners. Uh, sure. In this case, but the but the thing is, is that Tim Pool is at a lot of risk here. I think that's why he's shutting down his operation. The reason why is because he doesn't want anything that leaks out to affect his show in a negative way. Because I believe that Tim Pool is going to be back in the space eventually, um, it, just because he'll find a way to rebrand and come back. And you know, well, I'm sure. Remember, he was uh, he originally was a uh, Occupy Wall Street guy. I mean, yeah, there's just some yeah. of these people that. Nothing means anything to them. It's all how they can make money. There's way too many of them out there who are given way too much free reign um, to be terrible people. But I wonder what I haven't seen. I mean, again, I don't sit there paying close attention to conservative media, except for when I need to watch certain clips because they're funny and I can go after them and make fun of them and rip them. But What's you know Dave Rubin doing or or Benny Johnson or people they're, they're like continuing, that? They're continuing their shows, but uh, I think the difference between uh, like Dave Rubin and Benny Johnson is they got a straight pipeline to Russia. This tenant media was just a uh, just kind of like cherry on top of their ice and cake. Their uh, their little Russian ice and cake here. Um, but I, I believe that Tim Pool. Uh, the other reason why is because he's really stupid. Um, so he's probably really stupid with money. It really does he, sting. So, I, I mean, he, he, he opened up a skate park. He bought a skate park. He's got two big studios that he opened. Uh, you know, the, the guy obviously spent a shit ton of money that uh, he didn't foresee that would be uh, 
seized from him. And it's probably, and that's the other thing is I believe that a lawyer has came to Tim pool and said, Hey, the government is going to try to seek these funds that you were paid. That's how it works. If you do not want to be a conspirator in this, you're going to have to have some sort of negotiation where you forfeit some of this fucking illegal payment. Um, that was right, well, and, and whenever you're, you're being investigated, obviously folks say to you, don't keep talking. Because you could end up saying things that will be used against That's you. That's another court. good point. Benny, so you're, so you're saying Johnson would, and Dave you, Rubin are, in that way, Tim Pool's being smart, and Benny Johnson and Dave right. Rubin and Tucker Carlson, for that matter, who I have to assume if Justin Trudeau knows, our FBI knows, and there must be an investigation of some sort there. Uh, you know, in the end, and I mean, as I've said before here, we're so dirty with Russian money in the, at this point that there have to be. I would I, my guess is when you count state legislators, business folks locally in, who are influencers places, influencers online, media personalities at major outlets, and then members of Congress, whatever. I, I'd be shocked if they're paying anything less than 500 people out there to do various things. And this may end up being huge, a huge investigation that, that requires right, it's, it spans a lot of different things but i'm glad you went to tucker carlson because i want to show you this clip now this this clip here is about two minutes long um and it's kind of a wild uh, it's kind of a wild narrative that uh, tucker goes down it's really it's got a real fash smell to it you know like you can smell the fascism as, as tucker um, tends to have yeah right but it also has this weird he farts vibe. fascism actually it's I, not well he? known but yeah yes does it does it <laughs> does it smell like hitler's when he uh, farts for, somewhere in the world and Orban takes it over. Oh, okay. All right. That, well, that <laughs> makes sense. That makes sense. But I want to point out, too, that this is at a Turning Points USA um, event. And I also want to go back to your point earlier that a group like Turning Points USA would not exist without the Koch brothers and without the Heritage nope. Foundation and some of these other uh, societies out there that and, are right wing. money. You know, that mm -hmm. as a little sidebar, the guy that helped originally found it. Uh, and paid the money to, to prop up Charlie Kirk. He was a former senator, uh, wasn't he? Uh, I don't think so. But the one I, or maybe there's a senator involved too. I, I think you're thinking about the one who was at Heritage, the one from South Carolina, mm -hmm. his name I can't think of. And he may have been a turning point also, but the guy who originally funded it died of COVID. And I shouldn't Aww. laugh, but fuck him. I will. Aww. And of course, that didn't stop them all from denying it and all that stuff. Because again, even when it comes to a funder or it comes to, you know, uh, it comes to somebody like that, they don't give a shit, right? They'll well, just move on to the next thing. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm going to show you this, this uh, video of Tucker here at the, uh, the COVID uh, denier uh, um, since passed away's foundation here, Turning <laughs> Points USA. Um, but he's doing this and, and you know, it's, you know, it's uh, kind of wild to me because I've watched several videos of these uh, Tucker get togethers that they have, these uh, seditious meetings that they have. Tucker Carlson is able to attract a bigger crowd than Trump. That's fu that's fucking nuts to me. Like I'm I'm watching this and I'm like, holy shit! Literally, Tucker Carlson, who is just a shill for Trump and a shill for Putin, can attract a bigger audience than than Trump himself, which is kind of wild if you think about it in that aspect. But listen to what he says. It is here. interesting because he is also this dour. You know, look, I can admit when right wingers, I may hate them. Uh, but I can admit when they have some charisma, even if I find them repulsive, right? right. Bill O'Reilly had charisma. I get it. Like he had something about him where he owned the stage when he was on it. He had presence. You know, he, he could make jokes. He could do whatever. Yes, he's a scumbag and a rapist and all the other shit that he is or sexual assault or whatever. The, but he had some sort of talent is what you're saying. But he had some sort of, ta yes, he had talent as a, a broadcaster. Which I was kind of the worst part of him, really. I mean, It was, right. I don't right. really get Tucker Carlson because I don't get where the talent is. But Well, let me whatever. let me ask you, because um, you said he farts fascism. Now I'm starting to mm -hmm. wonder and think, before we watch this clip real quick, because I know we got a little bit of time here. Um, yeah. When I was a kid. I grew up on a farm. I told you that. And uh, I knew a lot of people nearby that had farms. There was hog farms nearby. There was turkey farms nearby. And a lot of times we would uh, kind of poke fun at the kids who grew up on the hog farms because they smelled like a hog farm. They you know, the turkey Thank farms. They smell. God, like I thought you were going to tell me a much worse story when you got right, into no, that. No, 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 no. Um, but here's the thing: is I'm I don't want to know what you did with the with the animals. Okay, right? I, no, no, I don't, no, no, I don't no, need no, to know. No, nothing like that. Nothing weird, mega shit like that. Um, but here's <laughs> okay. here's what I want to know: Do you think Tucker Carlson smells like fish sticks? Any like uh, some <laughs> sort of fish stick prints or something? I mean, I'm just.
I'm just trying to like use my experience that I have to try to figure out like, does this dude smell like fucking frozen fish sticks? No, I don't know. No, do people get do people here get what the reference is there? I, you uh, know, that he, I that they all know he's part of a fish stick regime. Yes. Um, well, he, that he, that, <laughs> yes, he comes from the the frozen food fortune, uh, which makes it even crazier if you ask me that he has done everything he's done. Wait, wait, wait. Right. His dad was on the board. Cra- wait, wait, wait. You think it's crazy that a Nepo baby like Tucker Carlson is a right winger who plays right into Putin's hands? Because I, I no, feel like I think it's crazy because the, there's a lot of rich brand. people out there. Oh, okay. There's a lot of people out there that were won the fucking genetic lottery and were born to rich people and then just go and half ass it at daddy's law firm or daddy's corporation, even if they do that much don't really do anything and make millions of dollars doing nothing and have vacations all the time and whatever. And this, this dick for brains has managed to get himself involved with Russia such that there's probably an FBI investigation going on and could end up in prison. So yeah, I do think it's unbelievable to me because if, if that were me and somebody had millions of dollars sitting there for me, no, I wouldn't be taking money from, I wouldn't take money from Russia if I were dirt fucking poor, from but I certainly sticks. wouldn't. From fish sticks to treason, TV yes, treason. He smells, a little, he smells like a mixture. He smells like fish sticks tipped in borscht. I think. <laughs> is what he smells like. Well, let's let's listen to this because he talks about daddy and giving daddy spankings. I'm not kidding you. In this video, take a listen to this. This is wild stuff. I know the audience is like Tony. Play the goddamn clip already. If you allow your two year old to smear the contents of his diapers on the wall of your living room and you do nothing about it, if you allow your 14-year-old to light a joint at the breakfast table, huh? if you allow your hormone-addled 15-year-old daughter to like whoa, slam the door of whoa, her bedroom and give whoa, you the finger, whoa. you're going to get more of it. Whoa, his 15 year Isn't that the story daughter. of Donald Trump, by the way? I, I guess. He's literally That's telling him. the story of Donald Trump. Right. And Trump did all... So, you know, I, I may have said that. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever said this to you, but I used to say this uh, back in the past when I went on shows. My mom went to the high school, you know, went to the same school as Trump in Queens. Okay. Really? She was, yes. Now she's, uh, she's about six something years older or oh, something okay. like that. So all she right. didn't, she didn't know him at all. But my point to you is what she did know from going to that school is he was such a fucking horrid kid that they couldn't control that eventually, because his family wouldn't you know, discipline him at all. They kicked him out and that's why he went to military school. Right. So my and point to you is that Donald Trump's military experience is that he was a right. shithead. Right. So that's what Tucker Carlson is basically describing Donald Trump right now. Right. That a guy yeah. that got away with everything, got away with everything and turned into this complete piece of shit, which I find ironic and funny. But well, so here's uh, now. Now, remember what Tucker Carlson just said. It's a 15 year old hormone addled daughter. OK, now see what he says about the 15 year old daughter. Listen to what he says. And those kids are going to wind up in rehab. It's mm-hmm. not good for you, and it's not good for them. No. There has to be a point at which dad comes home. Oh. Uh-oh. Look, look at him standing up yeah, and cheering this. Right. All right. Yep. Dad comes home. What happens when dad, dad comes, comes home? home? Yeah, what happens, Tucker? Tell him what happens. Tell him what you do to your 15-year-old daughter. Yeah, he's mad. Dad is pissed. He's, yep. Tucker, daddy's he's pissed. Vengeful. Oh, okay. He loves his children. Oh, well, sure. Disobedient as they may be, he loves them. Mm Mm-hmm. Because they're his children. They live in his house. Oh, that's why. Not because they're related to him. Yeah, well, I mean, they are his property. Like, you know, they're I mean, you have to live anything that that lives in your house, right? (laughs) Right, right. So so if if some mice get into your house, they're in your house. You love them. Right, yeah, you love the Well, and they're your property, and everyone knows that the dog's your property to catch your property. Does he tell next about the part where... Does he sit, talk, tell next about the part where, where he called Hunter Biden, begging Hunter Biden to ask to, to help his get his son, who's also named after some sort of a kitchen appliance like Buckley <laughs> or something fucking stupid like that? <laughs> he, how he, he literally like emailed wait, and called wait, Tucker. We have wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that Tucker's son is named Frigerator? Like, uh, <laughs> I'm saying that Tucker and Buckley are, are his dumb fucking names. Hi, this is Sink and this is Frigerator. Um, it was a great line there's a great line from the movie um, Pretty in Pink and I reminded him of it lately on Twitter John Cryer follows me if you know John Cryer is just an yeah. awesome mm-hmm. dude and he, when he played Ducky in Pretty in Pink or she's like I'm dating Blaine 
He's like, Blaine, that's not a name. That's an appliance. So I stole that line from <laughs> oh, there. Okay. And, and, and at one point when, when, when he was talking about Tucker Carlson's son, Buckley, he was making fun of him. I'm like, and I said to him, I was like, John, I'm like, that's not a name. That's an appliance. And John he like came back to me. He's like, "Damn it, I'm pissed. I didn't think of that myself." Um, <laughs> well, well, listen to what. Listen so that's to what where I, I stole it. Well, yeah, listen to but. what Tucker does to his uh, his daughter, who is maybe named after an appliance. Let's listen. Behavior, and he's going to have to let them know. He's old. He's going to have to. How get are you going to let him know? Room right now. Oh, okay, you're going to ground think him. Think about okay. what you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when Dad yeah, gets home, you know it. what he says? What does Dad say? You've been a bad girl. What? This is a 15 year old oh little girl, and you're getting a vigorous spanking. Whoa, right whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Wait, he's talking about his 15 year old daughter here, and he's a vigorous. <laughs> he said, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> Tucker Carlson just said he's going to give his 15-year-old hormone-addled daughter a vigorous spanking. You've been a bad girl. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm confident that that's what Donald Trump said to Ivanka when she came home from school. Get in here. I'm giving you a vigorous... Well, Come actually, here, I think might have been... I might, it might Are have been the other way up today. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, oh my keep, god! Keep going, Tucker. It gets way better. Let's listen. Oh my god! It's not gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. And is his hand in his pants? There. Where is You're his hands? A vigorous spanking because you've been a bad girl. <laughs> he says it more than one way. It has to be this way because it's true. And you're only going to get better when you take responsibility for what you did. Oh, That's my not God. Said in the spirit of hate. It's not said in the spirit of vengeance or bigotry. Far from it. It's said in the spirit. It's of said in the spirit of sexiness and in, in the spirit of justice. It's justice to give your 15 year old daughter a vigorous spanking. OK, because, first I of know. all, so let me let me get into this. Uh, you know, I, I know you're a father. I'm a father. Um, I am. Yes. Spanking is not good. Um, it, it is something that we thought back upon and, 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 and that parents did of younger generations, and it's teaching a child that violence is the answer. So let's start with not the best practice. I'm not going to judge other people. I think when kids are really little, especially, especially if it's just, if it's not fucking really violent or whatever, but I myself don't, do not believe it. And I think it's a bad thing. It teaches the wrong lessons. Second of all, I was talking about the little kid, right? Like seven year old, eight year old, little spanking. A 15-year-old girl who's reached puberty, <laughs> and you're her father, and you're putting her, what, on your lap and spent? I mean, are you vigorously, funny? vigorously, by the way, that is his words, not mine. Vigorous, vigorous. Is that is the, the Trump word. video everybody's talking about that's yeah, going to that come out? Be, that it's might a, be the fucking video. I don't know. You know, the, 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 insane, the insane part about this whole thing is that he's trying to make a point about how Trump is going to treat other people, uh, the, the citizens of this country. That's the point he's trying to make in this video where he's trying to sell this idea, this fascist idea that, look, it's not because he's trying to seek revenge. It's not because he doesn't love you. He just needs to show you who's boss. Like that's literally he's using this as an argument of why Trump is I know. not Hitler. That's the but now again, you it's like an a fucking seditious, treasonous, weird pedophile onion with these people because there's so exactly. many layers. There's so many and, layers and you know, away from this. I want to add another layer that I think that that people may know about but may not know about. That again, when you're looking at, at men that hate women this much, I'm sorry, but there generally is a reason for it. You know, Elon Musk was rejected, I'm sure, all through school because he's got the fucking loserist personality. As I said, he's an event horizon. for It's like a black hole that sucks. I think he sucks personality out of other people when he's in the room, right? Well, Tucker Carlson, I don't you know if you know this, who, his mom, who was very liberal, left the family when Tucker was young, like very young, right? At either preteen or teen. She just took off. So, so uh, you're so you're saying that maybe he has something against women because of oh, his experience and his a trauma. liberal woman who's who happens to be his mother leaves and we get this sadistic angry guy talking about daddy who's the hero of the story. Notice mommy's not mentioned in there. 
daddy is mentioned, who's the hero of the story, who's going to do the spanking. If right. you don't think that's connected to his upbringing of only his dad being there. And again, I don't wish that upon anybody, a parent just taking off. Although in the case of that family, there's such a fucking grouping of assholes that, I, I, you know, my guess is she took a look at the, the kids who were just like the guy she married was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Right. It but, smells like fish sticks here. I'm out of here, bitch. But, but <laughs> I mean, if you know his story, somebody just said, wow, it's a major insight. Cliff, thank you. I mean, I, you know, these are the things if you stay on for my live stream, these are the things I try to bring. I really do, actually, because I think psychology explains so much of our politics uh, that in, in these days with the MAGA contingent on the far right, it, there's a story with every one of them like this. It's, it's the mother. It's the father. It's you know jilted by uh, somebody they loved when they were young. It's they are taking out their own personal self-loathing hatred. You know, they won't accept that they're gay. They won't accept that they're trans. They won't accept that. They're taking out whatever their own self-hatred is on the rest of the world. It's the old line, uh, you know, about you know, uh, the Joker in, in the, the really good Batman movies with Christian Bale, that what does he want? He doesn't want to see anything but the world burn because he hates the world so much, hates himself so much that all he wants to see is the world burn. And that's where these people are scary. Uh, and, and that's Tucker Carlson. I, I, I absolutely promise you that he still hates his mom. He hates what her background was. He hates what she became. I think she became an artist or something. Daddy, became an ambassador under Reagan and was at one point at PBS where he got his first gig on TV was on the board, maybe in the chair of the board uh, of PBS. So, I mean, that's that th this is all related to that. Well, and uh, we appreciate all your insight as always. And you're going to get more insight if you stick around here on YouTube. I want to go to the story about the tape, but I know you're going to have to go get ready for your show because we spent a little bit too much time laughing at Tucker, but it was worth it, my friend. It really was. So everyone stick <laughs> I, around I here on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, Ryan. Every, stick around on YouTube because directly after the Tony Michaels podcast, you're going to go directly to Cliff's Edge. You're going to go to his channel for the live stream directly after the show. So if you're on YouTube, YouTube, stick around. And if you're not on YouTube, come over to YouTube, check out Cliff's live Please stream. Please do that. And I'll even say, thank you, Tony. And I'll even say, like, if people want it, tell us in the comments when, when we turn it on there, if you want us to, you know, Tony will join. If you want to talk a little bit more about Tucker and the mom issues, happy to do it. I mean, Let's we've got a it. lineup of stuff to do, but um, I've told people before, I went an hour and 40 minutes last time. And I used to say, oh, I'm going to do this for 45 minutes. I love doing it. I love talking to you all. I love answering your questions and comments. So I'll be there as long as there are people that want to talk or until I pass out. And I'll well, put some great. pseudephedrine in me and I'll talk more. <laughs> well, great. I'll see you here in just a little bit at the top of the hour. And everyone stick around for Cliff's Edge directly after the Tony Michaels podcast. Don't go anywhere, though. I'm going to talk about this maybe videotape or allegation. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, we'll talk about what these spanking videos are uh, right after this. Don't go anywhere. Thank you, Cliff, for joining us. Thanks.